hello hello and welcome back to my channel my name is charmaine and today i'm going to be doing an easy quick and simple video when i do this video y'all gonna be like oh my god that's it that's all we have to do with them pins basically this these pins are a really big hit they are called beatable pins blanks okay and i'll let you know where you can get these from but um they are beautiful look at these i got the little cases to go with them they're beautiful i made all of these and i'm gonna show you how to make two of them okay use big beads little beads but make sure your your beads have big holes some beads won't fit in with these pins they have to be have a, a nice size hole and i'll let you know where you get the beads from okay i'm gonna show you the beads first i'm gonna show you the pins first that's really my favorite color purple isn't it beautiful these are really good sell you can sell these or give them away as gifts to um family members or gifts Around the holidays. Okay. Pretty, pretty. So different. All different colors. And these cases really set them off. You can when you do your vendor tables. When you're advertising. Really cute and pretty. Show you another one. Okay. And my last one that I made, and it's, fun, it's funny, y'all, because I had a vendor's table, and I basically did all these sitting down at my vendor's table when nobody wasn't around, you know, was when customers wasn't walking up to the vendor's table, I was basically making these pins. Yes, I was working while I'm working. <laughs> so, it's so simple and so easy. Let me put those up there at the top. And see, these are the pins come. They look just like this. So I'm going to do this color right here. This is just how you use it. You just basically twist it. And that's how to use the ink pen. Okay. Another color I'm going to be doing today. Okay. And this plastic, it comes with it. So I just started it away. I don't need those. So the beads that you can use. Um, these beads came from Joanne Fabric. I mean, these beads came from Hobby Lobby. They're very expensive. If you can see, they're $17.99. Very, very expensive. Um, the only reason why I bought these beads because... The other beads that I'm going to show you next, they, they, they didn't have them in stock at Michael's. And I love, I'm going to show you these beads real quick. They're called um, Beads Design. $17.99 for these. And here goes some more, $17.99. But you can use, the, you know, the 40% of the coupon. Okay. But yeah, they're very expensive. Let me just show you how they look. Okay. Really pretty and vibrant. And you see how big the holes are. Um, But be careful because some of these holes, they still won't fit. Like I tried to do a couple of these beads. Um, and they still didn't fit the, the pin that their beads are too small. Sometimes the bead, the holes come too small, but it's got to be about this size, y'all. So make sure when y'all look for beads, make sure y'all have a hole about this size, okay? Can't have those little small holes. Like I said, I tried a couple of these. I think it was in this one right here. It didn't work. The beads was too, the holes was too small. So let me just show you. Yep, yep, it was this one. See, this bead, this right here, this hole was too small. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's too small. It won't work. So I couldn't use those, so... This, this bead, that, that was fine. But, um, so yeah. The reason why I bought these beads, because they didn't have these beads. I don't know why they don't have these in stock. I guess I thought they were going to stop selling them. But I love these beads, y'all. I also make jewelry. And I love making these Pandora-style bracelets. I've been, I've been making these for the last four or five years. I love these beads. I use a little, um, the silver, like the bracelets that you get from Michael's. They, they, Michael's had them. Joanne used to carry them, but Joanne don't carry these no more. We don't have them in my Joanne's. Um, I, I don't think I'd be sold these. I'm not, I'm not sure, but I used to always get them from Michael and Joanne. And then I used to make these a lot, and I used to sell a lot of these things. They are so pretty. I love these beads, and you can get all kind of colors, okay? I got these right here. And I'm going to use these, too. I'm going to make two bracelets. I mean, two bracelets. I'm going to make two pins. I'm going to use these colors, okay? And this is how the case looks. It comes in a little plastic also. Let's cover it up. Let's cover it. And y'all, y'all, you can make these, these beads within a minute. Okay. It takes you less than a minute, one minute to make these pins. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. So let me see. I'm, I'm gonna just lay this right here so they won't roll off my table like little some little felt. Um, I do have like a um bracelet holder or whatever. It's like a thing you can get from Michaels, but I don't need it for these two little pins that I'm gonna be using. Okay, so basically what you're going to do is basically turn the um pin. Make sure you don't turn this metal part because one time I broke a, I broke a pin. Just make sure you don't turn this part, but turn it one way and then turn it the other way. So it can it can get, so because it might be caught, 
okay? But make sure that this metal piece is not turning, because if you turn this, it will break. The whole thing will pop off, okay? So just make sure you turn in this. And if you get stuck, just turn it, and then turn it back the other way, okay? Just see what side, which way it turns, okay? Okay, I think I'm going to use these colors. And basically, you just got to um just cut this off right here and lay them down. And you can put them on the way, is you can put them on however you want to, but I just like to put them on the way they come, because they're so pretty how they advertise them. So sometimes they can be big. You got to just decide which ones you want to use, okay? You just slide it on here. And I just see how they fit. If it fits cute, then I, I leave it on there. But sometimes they don't fit right. They just, like, sometimes they lopsided. Like, this right here is kind of lopsided, so I don't like this one. Okay, so you just got to play with it. But it might fit after I put this one on here. See, this kind of, yeah, that's cute. Okay? See how that works? And then you just put out, put, you don't have to put them in order. You just put them how you want to put them. Uh-oh. And you keep on stacking. I don't like that one. Keep on stacking until um you get it done. You just play with it the way you want it. Play with it, okay? Put it. Let's see. This one. And I think I'm gonna do this one. Oh. <laughs> I'm so back and forth, y'all. That one. The small one on top. Then I don't have to use all the beads because this is gonna. I probably could, let me see. Put this one on. Nah. Let's see how this one is. Let's see how this looks. I might put one more on there. Yeah, I will put another one on there. So I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna take this one off. Put this one on. It's just, all you gotta do is twist that thing off. And I'm gonna use all these beads. Some of my I, I couldn't I didn't use them all, but this one I'm gonna be using. I use all these beads. Okay, except for the small one won't fit. Okay. You can just twist this on there tight. And voila, you have you a... Oh, that's pretty. That is gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, we are done. See, that was less than a minute. And like I said, sometimes if it look like it's too... If it's not right, just play around with it, okay? And you can twist it and make sure it, it even it up. And if it, you can loosen it up a little bit so it can move when they want to move. As long as this top is on there, Okay. And then you just open this up and you just basically look and see how you um you just push this pin inside of here. Which way you can tell which way it which way it goes. It goes this way. And then you just push it in here like that. Okay? And close it up. And voila, you have yourself a beautiful pin. See how simple it is, y'all. Everybody's like, we need a tutorial. You don't need a tutorial. <laughs> just put this unscrew the top and put it on. And there, I have another one added to my collection. I only, only didn't use, I used, didn't use this one. So I put it in my little box and I use it some other time. Okay. Throw that away. Let's do this last one. Get these pins. Um, basically, they, they're called beatable pin blanks. I see right now it's kind of stuck. So I basically turn it and then turn it back the other way. Got to play with it, but be gentle because this thing, my hands is kind of slippery. I might have to use my shirt. There we go. My hands is kind of slippery, so. Nope, it's not working. Take the pen and you turn, hold it tight and then you turn it. Okay. There you go. And make sure you can you can screw it to make sure it's tight inside here. You just do you want this metal thing to come out at all. So make sure it's tight before you give it to your customers, okay? Because you might be twisting it and, and it might get loose a little bit. So just tighten it up because if you don't, it will pop off and you the whole pen will be no good. Okay. So let's see. Okay. So basically, the, the pins are called beautiful pin blanks, and you can get these from Amazon. You can get them from um, Etsy. I got them all black. And you can get them in the cheapest place. You can get them is um, AliExpress. Okay, they're really cheap on AliExpress. You just gotta wait for them to deliver them. So it takes a while for them to deliver because AliExpress, of course, is in China. Okay, so it takes a while for them to get them to you. But they are very cheap, and reasonable. On, in Elliot's on AliExpress, and um, you can get these cases. These cases is called the pen boxes. Um, you can get those from AliExpress also or Amazon, whoever, wherever you want to go. Okay. I don't like the way this is sitting. Oh, that's cute. Isn't it? Okay, so let me see if I want to put this one on here like that. Mm -mm. I like this one. Do I want to put? Just like I said, just play around with it and see how you want to do it. Uh-uh-uh, let me see. 
you like to if you like the content of this video please give me a thumbs up i do videos twice a week i try to get two videos in and um if you don't like designing your these things yourself please check out my website www.charminggalboutique.com where i design and personalize everything the way you like it and i also have an etsy page and it's called charming gal boutique number two okay i think i like it like this better also anything you purchase below in my links below they are on my amazon links i will get a certain percentage from the purchase with no extra cost to you so those purchases that you make from the links below is helping out my channel okay to, to uh, help me to help me buy the things that i need to do these videos for y'all okay i like this okay look at that all done it's pretty isn't it so I, these right here only i didn't need three of them so it depends on which ones you use you're gonna have a couple left over okay you just put in a little box and then use them use them again some other time okay so do them however you want to do them it's up to you it's a link below that you can purchase nice clip arts from and it's spelled m-u-j-k-a cliparts.com if you go ahead go on that site and order some um link, clip arts i do get a certain percentage off of those also with no extra cost to you and right now she's having a sale, twenty percent off if you use the code M U K A F B two zero, and I will link that below. You can get that twenty percent off. And it's, oh my goodness, those clip arts are amazing. They're so nice. You can use for your um to put on your shirts and everything like that. So whatever you designing. And there we have it. Isn't that beautiful? Also check out my with my um Facebook page. It's called Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. We do a lot of different things with that um their group i do live we do a lot of, we have a lot of fun we just have a lot of fun so just check us out also follow me on pinterest and instagram miss charming gal and also check out my um i also have a, a sublimation um group on facebook it's called sublimation blanks and creation and i also sell sublimation blank www.charminggalboutique.com and also you can look on my sublimation in my sublimation group i always list the list the um items that i have for sale on there also and most of them are wholesale prices that's all, y'all. Wasn't this a short video? If you have any questions, please put them down below. If you want me to do more videos, put them down below. Um, and please give me a thumbs up if you thought this video was helpful to you. And thanks for watching my videos. Thank you for the likes and thank you for the comments. I might not be able to get to you as soon as possible, but I try to go back and look at my videos because I have so many people commenting. I have over 20,000 subscribers and I appreciate y'all all. But sometimes I can get a little bit busy doing videos and trying to find other things to do it for y'all tutorials and stuff like that so i appreciate you all and i might just uh but I, and I do read the comments and i might give you a little hearts or thumbs up and just thank you i might not be able to answer everything but i i, I see them and i'll be able to you know put up give your hearts give your heart or something all right until next time